Hey what's up guys Himanshu here with another very exciting tutorial and a quick overview of my new prefractured object pack for Element 3D. So take a look. Okay guys, so uh, first of all, I really do apologize for uh, the lack of videos on my channel past two weeks. Uh, actually guys, I have been uh, really busy lately. I was working on this new element pack and some other uh, projects. So sorry about that. Uh, uh, so guys, uh, before we get into the, uh, into the tutorial, um, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you new to my YouTube page. Uh, if you want other uh, uh, Element 3D tutorials and uh, uh, Cinema 4D and motion graphics tutorial, so be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, if you haven't done so. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, as you can see, uh, some uh, fracturing going on. So these are pre-fractured object. Uh, we have uh, uh, three different patterns: uh, Veronoi, cube, and lines. So that's mean uh, you can break these uh, these object in three different shapes so it's uh, really cool okay okay let's uh, move on to the main thing here so uh, the setup uh, the setup is ready let's uh, quickly apply element so apply and uh, let's uh, jump into the scene setup okay so now uh, click on the import button and uh, this is the uh, pre-fractured uh, object pack so you can uh, choose one of these uh, pre-fractured objects so let's uh, choose this one for now so let's uh, select this one maybe cube Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, let's uh, drag this out first and right click and choose duplicate all and put this into the uh, second group because uh, we will animate this text with the animation engine. So uh, let's uh, now uh, let's apply, apply the uh, materials. So, go to the metal and choose this one. Okay, let's select this and set the texture mapping to box repeat. Okay, so for the second one. Let's uh, apply a physical material. So apply this bright light material and let's uh, change this color to maybe something fancy. Okay. Let's uh remove unused material okay so the 3d uh, text is ready uh, maybe we can change the color uh, color of this uh, text so let's go to the scene setup and now uh, grab this material and uh, in the reflectivity we can change the color okay Okay, let's uh, hit OK and uh, and now uh, enable the animation engine. 
so enable this and uh, okay so uh, definitely uh, uh, we are not looking for this kind of animation so let's uh, we have to uh, turn on the multi object because uh, if you have a, a pre fractured object so uh, you have to turn on the multi object and uh, what this uh, does uh, this is uh, allow us to scatter the pieces uh, randomly so this is very cool and let's uh, turn on the multi object for group 1 and group 2 as well so enable this and uh, if I, I uh, play this um, uh, it's not uh, looking good and it's not work f uh, let's uh, go to the scene setup Uh, let's uh, delete this and duplicate again and put this material Sorry. and set this to group 2 and if I play ok so now it's uh, working fine and if I uh, go to the group 2 and uh, zero the size of the multi object so okay so we, we will get this type of animation now okay so it's looking pretty good you can also tweak the settings to make this uh, uh, look more interesting Okay, okay, you can scatter this uh, value and you can also uh, rotate it uh, randomly. So, uh, uh, all these uh, uh, multi object properties are uh, very powerful if you are using a multi object. So, go ahead and uh, check this out. It's uh, really cool. Wow. Let's set this uh, e frame here. Okay. If I hit play, oh, looking pretty good. Let's add some light into the comp. So choose layer, new light. Select the paler light and change this color to something like this. Oops. create uh, another point light so select the point light and so these uh, comp, comp lights are really powerful to give them uh, more uh, believable uh, looks so it's uh, really fun to do, do this okay uh, okay so fine for now okay guys so along with the comp lights we can also tweak uh, uh, some light setting from 
uh, element 3D so you can see the lighting section here you can change uh, the light uh, you can add some very cool type of lights in to your comp so you can choose uh, dramatic you can choose the cinema uh, let's choose natural so you can see the light okay let's turn this down 50 percent and uh, maybe we can uh, also turn on the ambient occlusion for more accuracy and let's turn on the glow and set this value to maybe 0.5 and radius to 3 okay it's looking pretty cool and also guys you can uh, uh, choose a different type of uh, animation type so you can choose direction you can choose radial so now we have a totally different animation without any uh, uh, other tweaks just set this to radial I will get this uh, a different animation so uh, if you uh, set your animation type to direction so you have the ab uh, ability to uh, change the direction sign. so we can change the direction up left to right and up to down so very nice okay so now let's uh, uh, add a logo so it's a very simple now let's duplicate this element effect and go to the scene setup just uh, right click on the text and replace model and choose logo and replace with this logo cube and this one also or you can just duplicate this and uh, put this into the second group okay hit okay and let's uh, set this uh, render mode to unified okay guys so now we have two different animation going on here so you can see the power of animation engine it's, I love this uh, feature actually okay, and now turn on the depth of field So uh, scale this logo. Five. Oops. Point nine five. Okay. So, and uh, after all that, if you want to change your uh, pattern, you all you have to do just uh, go into the scene setup 
and select this object and replace with the another one like uh, Pernoy lines and let's choose line okay same thing for this one choose the place model logo and lines for this one okay let's hit play okay guys so that's the tutorial and uh, I really hope you like uh, my tutorial so if you liked it hit the like button and I hope you also like my pre-fractured object pack so go ahead and play with it and if you make something cool please let me know uh, and you can also check out my other tutorials on my youtube page and uh, don't forget to subscribe guys if you want more tutorials uh, for element 3d and other motion graphics tutorial so be sure to subscribe and uh, okay uh, bye everybody we will see you next time